God, I got everyone watching me here. I don't have to get nervous about it. Hmm. Metal bird magic. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Metal bird magic. It's not the most creative name we've done, but it'll be one of our, you know, it'll be one of the ones in the past. Metal bird magic. Did you play metal bird magic? You get in a giant metal bird and fly around the country. It's amazing. There's 12 different types of metal birds you can fly. Let's Be Jesus is now off the market. It sold 17,000 copies. Units generating 123, 788 in sales. Oh my god, that was so great. Artificial intelligence, dialogues, no. Level design, not so much. Not so much. Not so much. Ooh, baby, baby. Not so much, Mr. Baby. Mr. Baby, Mr. Baby, Mr. Baby. Mr. Baby, do you wanna have a baby? Middle bird magic. It's time to finish the game. But first, you gotta rid, rid some of those bugs. Yeah. There you go. Ha! Damn, sound. How did I get sound to level three? First reviews for our newly released game, Metal Bird Magic, came in. Wow, that was really quick. Oh, Jesus. Wow, really? Eight for Metal Bird Magic. Can't wait for the sequel, Metal Bird Magic 2. <laughs> Simulation games work well on PC. Well, thank you, Game Hero. One of the best. Shite. Oh my god, Metal Bird Magic. You have a horrible name, but you did well. Damn, girl. You sexy. Love you, Metal Bird Magic. You're doing your thing. Our post-release analysis of Metal Bird Magic is complete. We got the following results. Airplane and simulation is a great combination. Story quests seem to be very important. Thanks for telling me the most obvious thing ever. Alright, we need to do research. We need to make our friggin' thingy majiggy. And do both? No. Yeah, we're gonna make a government game. It's gonna be the worst thing ever. According to our market research recently published game, Metal Bird Magic is a surprise hit with players. Developer Tummy Sausage is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Recently released Tess Home Console by Nintendo has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. As one customer says, I love the games that come with the Tess and playing with controllers so much easier than a fun keyboard. I can't read. Give me a break. Oh yeah, give me those monies. Give me them monies. You have successfully researched custom game engine. Now you can create your own custom game engine. To get started, close this message and click anywhere on the new research game tutorials mono sound. Uh, research. Have you used the, the new GoBoard? Yeah, it's the best engine I've ever had. It's got 2D graphics, version 2, linear story, and a save game. It's the best thing I've ever heard. Gobart, version 1.0. Oh, 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 oh. Um, yeah, sure. Gobart, it's amazing. You're not creating your own custom game engine. Once the engine is finished, you'll be able to use it when creating new games. Oh my god. Come on, Metal Bird Magic. Keep bringing in those monies. I need it. Need those monies. That's how I gotta survive on Hot Pockets. Metal Bird Magic is now off the market. It sold 31,000 copies, generating 219.060 in sales. Oh my god. So exciting. Your new game engine, GoBoy, version 1.0, is now complete. Oh my god. Congratulations, your first custom game engine now ready. You should try using it in your next game. Oh, don't you worry. I will. 
pick topic. Let's do... Uh, we haven't done aliens. Let's do aliens. Uh, action, adventure, action, adventure, action, adventure. Let's do... Hmm, what would they do? I'm thinking XCOM with strategy, but I'm pretty sure they're not thinking that. I'm guessing it's going to be action or adventure. Nah, action. No, this guy, of course, is action. Um, action. An action game about aliens. Is it worth it? Licensing cost 80k, developing cost 30k? Jesus crikey. Oh, I'm gonna take the jump. Jesus Christ. You require a developer license to be able to develop? Sure, let's do it. We're jumping in, boys and girls. And we're gonna do in the Gobort Bump Horse Sits. Um, it came from. Uh, mm, no. Um. Space Cats. No. Cadet Carl. The cat? No. Astronaut. Can't eat. Shut up. You spell astronaut. Um, aliens action TES go board version 1.1. 1. 1. Um, oh, spider ship. The spider. Spider ship. Spider ship from space. There you go. Exclamation point. I then wasted all my money and we lost everything. Spider ship from space is being developed. Oh god, I'm gonna die. This is gonna be horrible. It's an action game. Give me a break. I got plenty of money to fall back on. You gotta go big. Go big or go home, that's all I'm saying. Recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of game devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater for the more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups really to make an impact. To make a really an impact. Jesus Christ. Target audience. Okay. Graphics and world design. Do a little bit of sound. Can't wait to play Spider Ship from Space. The worst game ever. Get rid of those bugs for me, will you, buddy? I'm trying to make mom proud. There we go. Yay! Hopefully. Maybe. Whoa. Following the massive success of the TES console, there are now rumors circulating that Vena, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console on their own. I like how they have the, uh, basically, it follows history as it, as it had happened. First reviews from, for our newly released game, Spider Ship from Space, came in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, thank God. Their focus on graphics served this game very well. On graphic? Learn to spell dickbags. Played it for days. Almost, almost, almost enjoyable. Screw you, game hero. You're a loser. <laughs> Aliens and action is a great combination. You know, all games, you are the blandest, most boring... Like, if, if I gave you a skateboard and I did a bunch of tricks and, like, jumped off a building and landed double flip kick face alley, you'd be like, well, skateboards do use wheels. And I'd be like, well, thank you. I appreciate that. Dick. Oh, right. I should do stuff. I'm just standing here. <laughs> Our post-release analysis of Spider Ship from Space is complete. We got the following results. Aliens in action is great. Graphics seem very important for action games. Oh my god. That is like so... I didn't think that would be it. Ha ha. Alright. Um, research. Game history. Research. I feel like game tutorials don't need to be brought in until you're on, like, PlayStation level. Uh, mono sound. Uh, that probably should be. Target audience, not yet so much. We really should do a new topic, though. I heard that zombies, you shouldn't do it to like, later on. Or 
something, I don't know. Law, time travel, government, Jesus Christ, these are the worst topics in existence. Do time travel. Oh, look at that sexy thing. Today, Venna has confirmed recent rumors about a new gaming console and announced that the Master V. The company claims that the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful TES by Nintendo. It plans to release it in the coming months. Oh my god, I got spin on my monitor, Jesus Christ. I should calm down with words. They came out with the Sega Genesis, oh my god. You've successfully researched a new topic. Time travel, yay! Great, alright. Develop our new game, a topic. Mm. I think I will go with our newest one, time travel. This is gonna be hard shite. I should have done this. Uh, yeah, adventure. Come on, what are you thinking? Time travel adventure. What would a good a good adventure? PC or G sixty four. This one's got RPG. I'm gonna go G sixty four. Okay, so this is time travel adventure. Um, Bobby's blasting. Uh, Bobby's blasting time adventure. Um, Bobby's blasting. Bobby's blasting. Mm, uh, oh, I know. This is much better. Let's kill Grandpa. There we go. A paradox game for all ages. Okay. Much better. Let's kill grandpa's under development. In which you go back in time and kill your grandfather. Will the paradox destroy you the universe? Or will the universe sort itself out? Well, find out. A time travel adventure. I'm guessing engine gameplay's gotta be pretty important still. These are all good, right? Yeah. Okay, level design dialogues. It's an adventure game, so artificial intelligence might be pretty important. Dialogues, not so much. Level design, artificial intelligence. It's an adventure game, so I'm gonna say level design more. Spider Ship from Space is now off the market. It sold 38,000 units, generating 272 sign zero sales. Spider Ship. I would never buy that game. That's the most horrifying game I could ever imagine. Let's kill Grandpa. Time travel adventure. Do world design. Graphics, you go down. Yeah. Yay! Get those bugs out of there, man. Come on, what are you doing? Jesus, crikey. There you go. Damn, girl. Uh, well, no, no. Um, I can't research it. First release for a newly released game, Let's Kill Grandpa, came in. Oh, shit. It's not going good. Oh, no. I messed up the world. Meh. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I guess it's not ferocious. Has its moments. Like when you kill Grandpa. Adventure games work well on G64. Jesus Christ, all games. <laughs> Today the new game Platform Master V by Venna has been released. The new game the new game platform Master V. Okay, I get it. Gotcha. Had to read that. I'm disappointed. Let's kill grandpa didn't do better. I thought it'd be a hit with kids. You know, grandpa buys it for you for Christmas. Doesn't realize that that's what it's about, even though it's the title. Uh, let's kill Grandpa. He was like, Game Report, Time Travel Adventure is great. Story quests seem to be very important. Um, platform genre ma match. Okay, great. Um, did we research? Oh, new topic. Space. There you go. Space. Oh, God. I'm... Space. Simulation, maybe? Recently released gaming console Master V by Venna has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world.
Yay, space. Oh my god, I like space. Space is my favorite. Uh, space. Shite. Okay, uh, action adventure RPG. Space adv space action. Halo. Space adventure. Um. Halo. Space RPG. Uh, uh, Halo. Space simulation. Kerbal Space Program, Space Strategy, StarCraft. Okay, so... Uh, let's, no strategy, no simulation, no RPG. <sighs> I'm gonna go adventure. Christ, oh my god. Oh, crikey. What did we do? We went adventure? We're going G64. Go board vault version 1.0. Taiga Marines! Every game I make has an exclamation point. Oh, here, uh, Tiger Marines? There we go, much better. <laughs> I don't know how either of those things, uh, whatever. All right, Space, ad our adventure game needs, uh, what did they say? No, it's not that. There we go. Adventure game. Level design, AI, sure. Let's kill grandpa's now off the market. It sold 10,000 units and it's generating 75k in sales. Okay, adventure games. Uh, sound, graphics, world design, yeah, sure. Hey, buddy, you got enough money, you could freaking make that DeLorean working. Come on, dude. Come on. Just fix the DeLorean. It's just sitting there. It's pitiful. Unbelievable. He hasn't gotten up to piss or do anything. I don't know. He's gonna die soon. Looks like I just leveled up. New research available. Better user experience. Level editor. Open world. Ooh, wow. I feel like all of those things, like, I don't know. I don't want to use those to, like, a lot, like, years from now. Damn right, girl. Adventure games work well on the G64. Thanks, old man games. Played it for days. Thank you, old man games, too. Oh, good game. From Game Hero, which is run by old men. Huh, enjoyable by old games. Yay, we did things. New research available. Casual games. Oh my god, casual. Recent market data shows that the Govador G64 seems to be slowly, slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. It, in an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing high, higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. You done with the research there, buddy? There you go. Space Adventure is an okay combination. Sound seems to be not very important. Is sound important for anything? Unless it's like, uh, dubstep the game? Alright. Research. Game tutorials. Better user experience. Better user experience? What does that even mean? Target audience. Casual games. Level letter. Open world. Romance. My god. Could you give me any worse categories? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna do better user experience. <laughs> gonna make you know how to play my game better. Ooh, you're gonna have a better time because I research better user game experience. Experience. Mm -mm -mm -mm. To be able to use this in your games, you need to create a new engine. Oh, you slut! Oh, slut of sluts. No, I don't want to create a new game engine. Sluts. They did mono sound then. Today, Nintendo has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called GameLink. The device comes with changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and it can even turn into a dragon. Oh my god. 
Compared to PCs and other game consoles, the game link is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following for people who like to have many little gaming systems strapped to their backs. Game link is said to hit shelves next month with a POW. With a POW blast. I'm just going to research. I want to research tutorials too after this. Come on, Mr. Ginger. Stop scratching your head. Start typing. Tiger Marines is now off the market. It sold 24,000, generating 668k. There you go, buddy. You seriously research my son. Good job. Ah, screw it. We'll make another game. Ah, I guess we will.